Howdy gang, hope you're all having a fantastic week! Another Doug Aldrich lick for you today and today I am showing you a very bluesy lick. It incorporates Doug's signature style but with that blues twist which we always hear in his awesome awesome guitar playing. Before I tell you all about it though, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and click that bell notification so you know when new videos are going to be coming out, which is very regularly, yeah. And please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. It helps out so, so much. Thank you so much. So this lick, so when I was actually writing the track, I had to put this lick in there. There was that one kind of, you know, that bluesy thing. <laughs> That's how it was kind of like, you know, I sing it, but I play it much better, right? <laughs> I had to get that in because it was, it's such a signature kind of blues lick, but there was that trill at the beginning, which kind of makes it the Doug blues lick. So I'm going to show you how to play this. The trilly bit we've done in a couple of lessons previously, the first Doug Aldrich um, lick that I showed you. And then we follow up with the blues lick and then we're going to finish up with some awesome, awesome beds. So, you want to learn this, don't you? I know you do. Let's do it. Let's get right to it. Yeah! That wonderful leg, that bluesy style, we love it. I know you guys love it. <laughs> I love playing it. So today I am playing through my wonderful iconic Evolution S guitar, which was custom made for me by Kevin Proctor over at Iconic Guitars. And um, I'm going through my um, Red Stuff 1987 fat amplifier for my wonderful tunes there. So before I show you the lick, please do remember that the tab download link is in the description box to the video. I always put the uh, the tab link in the description box. So uh, whenever I put a lesson out, it's always there. Just to let you know. <laughs> Alrighty, so this lick starts off with a nice big bend on the 19th fret of the high E string. And I'm actually doing a one and a half step bend here. So I'm going up to the, uh, the same note as the 22nd fret from the 19th. So there's a couple things that I do when I um, do bends, and um, this is something um, for mainly for beginners. Uh, when they start doing bends, they kind of ask me, you know, how do you get to pitch and stuff. There's a couple things that I use. Obviously, I use my ears to judge where the pitch is getting to, but I also use my eyesight. I keep watching the fretboard and looking at where the string is coming up to. So when I do this one and a half step bend, so I've got to get up to this note, which is the D note. If I want to replicate that, then I can do it by looking up the sky and kind of trying to guesstimate it. I can do it now because I've done it like, you know, probably about 50,000 times. <laughs> but let's say I was a beginner and I was trying to get it. Oh. And you're kind of struggling to get it. There's one thing that you can add in. Keep watching where the string gets to. Now when I do the bend, if I stop the note for a second and hold the string there, I can actually see that I'm coming up to where the um, the G string would be. Uh, the My E string is being bent up to where my G string is. And this is basically from my vantage point. So I'm looking with my eyes at my fretboard and seeing where I'm getting the string to. So it's around there. So when I want to replicate it, I can basically um, make sure that the string gets up to that point. The other thing that I notice is when I bend the note up, as I'm on the 19th fret, my finger is covering the, the dot in the middle of my fretboard. So you can always use that as a visual clue as well. And get that perfect bend each time. So use your eyesight, really, really important. All right, once I did the um, bend, um, I brought the 19th fret down. 
and here I'm going to do the trilly bit. So it's similar to the trill that I showed you in the first Doug Aldrich lick lesson that I did, uh, but we're just higher up the registry now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off from 19 to 18 to 17. So I'm going to use my third finger, my second finger, first finger. <laughs> And then I'll start trilling between the uh, 18th fret and the 17th fret. So there's our trill. So right off that big bend. We do the trill right there. Alrighty, so once I've done that, I'm gonna come up to the B string and I'm gonna do another bend, this time on the 20th fret of the uh, B string. And this time I'm doing a two-step bend. So in order to do this, you've got to know the pitch that you need to get to. So you can do this by playing the reference pitch. Now I'm on the 20th fret here of the B string. Now if I take it to the E string, it's going to be the 15th fret. So our G note. And two steps up from there is going to be my B note, which is the 19th fret. So I need to bend up to this pitch, but from the 20th fret. Again, I'm using my ears, I can use my eyesight as well. And check where the string is getting up to so I can get the pitch correct each time. So I'm going to do the two step bend first, then bring it back down. Then I'm going to come to the 17th fret of the B string and then the 19th fret of the G string. And then to follow that up, I'm going to do a pull off from 20 to 17 on the B string. And there's our blues bit there. It's a really beautiful, beautiful blues lick, which you'll hear in lots of blues songs, lots of rock playing as well but just works so well in the context of this, especially with the big bends that we're doing. <laughs> and that pull up at the end. Just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Then to follow that up, what I'm going to do is come down to the 20th fret of the high E string and I'm going to bend it up a full step and then bring it back down, bend it up again, and I'm going to do that four times. So I'm only going to pick the string once, and then I'm going to do that compound bend, where I do the bend up, bring it down, do the bend up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. So like this. Okay, so um, I've got to make sure that I've got enough sustain on the guitar. Uh, in order to do that, I'm using pretty high gain here. Um, and. Also, another thing that helps is you've got to keep the pressure on the fret when you're doing the bend. Not just on the up position, but bringing it down. So make sure that you're pressing into the fretboard, so in this way, while you're actually pushing the note this way as well. Because if you release the pressure, then the note's going to die. That's what's going to happen. So you've got to keep pressing into that note. I'm doing it four times there, right? Alrighty. And then to end with, I'm going to come to the 22nd fret of my um, guitar and do a full step bend up and do some vibrato. And that's the whole of the lick there. <laughs> Alrighty. So I will clip it together for you guys slowly and then play it quickly again. Here we go. And a little bit quicker. And 
and there you go there's the whole of that lick i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did if and you haven't done so already please do subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so much appreciated and if you would like to support the channel then i'm on patreon and also have a paypal me link down in the description box below as well and also my albums are on itunes and amazon and bandcamp as well thanks so much for watching guys enjoy it i'm going to show you the whole of that track for the i don't know how many times i've shown it now i love this track i absolutely adore this track <laughs> so i'm going to show you again yeah in its entirety here's the doug aldrich track that i did all right you guys have a fantastic week i shall see you soon for another video really really soon see you later guys bye